What I have here is an incandescent light bulb. Uh, it makes light because a filament gets heated up, and in order to release some of that energy, it emits light. It emits light of all colors, so in the end, those colors mix together to make white light. Now what I have here is a diffraction grating. This diffraction grating splits light up into its wavelengths. So if I put it in front of the lens, notice what I get. I get a nice rainbow uh, on each side of the light bulb. So you can see from blue all the way to red, all the different colors of the rainbow are there because the light is emitting all the different colors of the rainbow. Now I'm gonna need to turn out the lights because the next thing I'm gonna do is a little dimmer but I want to use the, uh, keep this light here for a minute to show you that there's no difference just because I'm turning off the lights. So now the lights are off. That makes this light look obviously a lot brighter. But once again, if I put the um, diffraction grating into its uh, uh, path of the lens, you end up seeing the nice rainbow again. Okay, so this is a different light. It's a light made with a gas. The gas that's in there right now is krypton gas. Um, and Electricity is passing through the krypton gas. That excites the krypton gas, and it has to de-excite in some way, so it emits light. But notice the light's different. It's not as white. If I put the diffraction grating up to the lens, you can see why. Unlike a nice rainbow like we saw before, we now see three specific lines. We see a blue line, a green line, and an orange line, and that's it. It's not making any red light, not making any yellow light just one strip of blue, one strip of green, one strip of orange. Each of those strips represents a single wavelength. So this krypton gas is emitting three specific wavelengths of visible light in order to de-excite. Now that didn't make sense for a long time because our understanding of the atom wasn't good enough to understand why this is the case. Why is it a filament in a light bulb can de-excite by emitting all colors of the rainbow but krypton gas can only de-excite uh, emitting these specific wavelengths, the blue wavelength, the green wavelength, and the orange wavelength. And it's not just krypton that does this. All right? I can do this with other gases as well. This is hydrogen gas. Same setup. It's a gas being excited with electricity. It's de-exciting by emitting visible light. When I put the diffraction grating over it, however, you don't see much you see a really strong blue line and if you look all the way to the right or all the way to the left you can see sort of a dim red line and there's obviously a little green in there but once again it's specific lines you can now see there's a second blue line that's dimmer but nevertheless it's individual lines once again indicating individual wavelengths of light but these wavelengths are different from the one that krypton emits okay we'll do one more Okay, this is argon. And once again, it's argon gas. You're passing electricity through it to excite it, and then it's de-exciting by emitting light. And if I look at the wavelengths of light that are emitted by the krypton gas by putting the diffraction grating in front of the lens, you see I've got a bright blue line, a dim green line, and a dim reddish orange line, and that's it. So once again, these are different wavelengths than the other two gases, but they're individual wavelengths. These gases are emitting individual wavelengths of light in order to de-excite. And that's puzzling until you understand the actual structure of the atom.